بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم وعبد الله ولا تشرك به شيئا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says worship and worship Allah and do not associate any partners with him in this ayah al karima Allah the Almighty has commanded us with the most important and significant action whether it be an action of the heart whether it be an action of the limbs or whether it be a statement or an action of the tongue Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with the greatest thing that we could do and it is worshipping him and him alone and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa'budullaha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us with Tawheed with singling out all of our worship and directing it all to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the same time in the same short ayah is negating shirk negating polytheism negating the uh, negating and prohibiting us from worshiping anyone or anything besides Him, Subhanahu wa Taala, or, or in addition to, negating and prohibiting us from worshiping something else or someone else alongside of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. For example. As we're all aware that many of the Christians, by definition of who they are, they surrender their hearts and their souls to Jesus. So they direct their worship to Jesus. Another group of them, in fact, believe in worshiping Allah with Jesus so they share and this is where you have the term shirk sharaka yushriku that the people are sharing in directing their worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or alongside of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they're worshipping other beings other uh, things which are created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is Al Khalik wa Ghayra Makhluk. Allah is the creator. He creates, but He is not created. Therefore, everything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His divine sifat is created. So the trees are created. So the person who seeks refuge and support and reward, adjure, from trees or rocks or uh, bones or anything like this, those things are created. And they will be destroyed. They will have a limited time in existence. Or some people they direct their worship to animals for example they worship rats elephants the cow all kind of created beings things that are there for our enjoyment and for us to ponder on the wonders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation however some people direct their worship to those things and those things again will die so the person who worships the cow 
and believes the cow is sacred, how can the cow be sacred? How can the cow have divinity when it dies? And likewise, all the other creation. And as we're well aware, and as we mentioned, some people worship Jesus, alayhi salatu wa salam. And unfortunately, some people who say, La ilaha illallah, wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they direct their worship to Allah and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So again, that's shirk. What's the difference if you supplicate to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or you supplicate to the Prophet Jesus alayhi salatu wa And what's the difference between going to the grave of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and praying directly to him or directing your salat to the his qabr, to his grave, and trying to do that for Jesus alayhi salatu salam or or one of the other NBA, even though most of their graves were probably not aware of even the general vicinity, or possibly in general we might have some idea of where they uh, perished, alayhim afta salatu salam. But the point being is that all of it is shirk. And it's not going to benefit you to supplicate even if a person is righteous or a person is wicked. Your end result, the natija, is the same. That it's all shirk, it is all polytheism, it is all that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And that goes back to the ayah we said where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa'budullaha wala tushriku bi shayin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms that we practice Tawheed by worshipping Him and Him alone, directing all of our worship to Him and Him alone, and He negates that you do any polytheism. Wala tushriku bi shayin. And here, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La tushriku bi shayin, shay here, in the Arabic language, it's nekira, meaning that it is, it's indefinite. You know, there's no definite article on the beginning. If it were to say, wala tushriku bihi a shay. If there was an alif walam, that would make it definite. But because it's nekira, the ulama of the, the language and the ulama of usul, they say this, this right here, this shows that this of Yufid al Amu, that it shows us that this is general. This means it negates everything. It's general. That everything is negated besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you worship only Allah and you don't worship anything. Anything meaning everything besides Him. Any and everything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's worship, absolutely, you do not worship it you direct all your worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that gives us an idea of what we should focus majority of our time in one form or another doing, and that's worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and avoiding shirk at all costs. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and protect us from kufr and shirk wa bid'ah wa and all of these forms of heresy and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas with the bad ala sunnah and bless us to come closer to him and bless us to make repentance for those of us who have involved ourselves with shirk and a beautiful dua that I'll, that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam supplicated with he said Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa staghfiruka liman a'lamu that he said O oh Allah I seek refuge in you Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika I seek refuge in you from shirk that I've committed knowingly and unknowingly so that's important for us to supplicate with that often from any, and may Allah protect us from any and all, all forms of shirk, whether it be showing off, whether it be 
doing things to gain fame, whether it be doing uh, things pertaining to worship for anything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or directing that worship to anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.